Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are near here, hello, welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, as always, welcome back! I am here with week two of Summer with the Masters 2022. If you're new and you're not totally sure what I'm talking about, Summer with the Masters is an event that I am co-hosting with my very wonderful friend, Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. This is an event that centers all around the genre of artwork called The Old Masters, which for our purposes is artwork from before the year 1927, which is the current copyright year for the US. Um, works in this genre are part of the public domain and they are therefore free to use, guilt-free, by us as crafters and diamond painters um, in our diamond paintings and for shops as well. So. Um, this is the second year that we have done this series. We had so much fun learning and diving into this genre with you guys last summer. We really basically, as soon as the event wrapped up, we're like, we should do this again sometime. And it seemed like you guys really wholeheartedly agreed. So here we are. So Jessica shared last week in week one of Summer with the Masters um, some of her like ideal, like her wish list of kits that she would love to work on for Summer with the Masters. Please go and check out that video. That is, uh, like I said, the first week in this series and she shares about a lot of really fun things and also there may or may not be a giveaway happening in that video. There may or may not be a giveaway happening in this video, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. So um, I do apologize in advance. The accompaniment for today's video is provided by my neighborhood friendly cricket that likes to make appearances in my videos. Um, it hides behind my dishwasher in my house. And if I film after my children are asleep at night, he likes to come out and, and serenade us a bit. So I do apologize for that. <laughs> um, what I have in front of you today is my current Summer with the Masters project. I actually have several in the wings that I'm hoping to work on. We're gonna see how much I can crank through this year because I just have completely fallen in love with this genre and just keep seeing more and more kits that I want to work on. More on that in just a minute though. I did want to just mention that this particular kit is entitled Summer. It's by the artist Alphonse Mucha. This was actually sent to me by the fabulous folks over at Diamond Painting Shop. They're a pretty new shop to the community. The owner is incredibly sweet. And you know what? They're actually sponsoring Summer with the Masters this year. Speaking of our sponsors, you guys, we have the privilege of partnering with some really amazing shops in the community. Uh, and these shops have donated prizes, sometimes even donated shipping. They've offered some really customized and curated things for us to enjoy along with this event. And I'm gonna have all of them listed below, but at least what I have in front of you I wanted to mention as well. This tray is a beautiful handcrafted resin tray from Butterfly Resin Gems, also one of our sponsors. Um, stay tuned if you like the look of this, by the way. Uh, they are currently just very temporarily closed because the owner did have a medical procedure done and needed to temporarily close her shop. But stay tuned because she's gonna have some really exciting things coming as well. So I'll link to her shop and her social media below. This pen, while it doesn't match this kit, just yet it is from one of our other sponsors which is butterfly effect wares they make really beautiful diamond painting pens that they both hand pour they often they offer customs some so you want to follow and um them on like facebook and stuff and some will post when custom slots have opened up uh, but this was one of their pastel rainbow pens so anyway you guys i just wanted to mention what i had in front of, in front of us here but what I wanted to take a little bit of time today to share about is why Summer with the Masters? Why is this event that we decided to put together? Um, and how did I fall in love with this genre? And what does it bring to the community? They're all kind of tied together, to be honest. And I thought it would be fun to just take a few minutes to share what that journey has been like. And I think that many many of you have actually been on a really similar journey um 
just from chatting with some of you in the community. So um, what what the, where this really started is that I was just chatting with Jessica early last year and saying, you know, I think it would be so much fun to host an event together sometime. She was like, I totally agree. That would be so much fun. And we were just brainstorming, thinking what would be something that we would both really enjoy doing. We talked about what are some of the things we have in common, both in terms of like what are our personal passions, what are some of the things that we get excited about doing on our channels, and what do we think is something we haven't really seen done in the community that we think would be um, just something not only of value, but that people would find a lot of enjoyment in. And ultimately what we landed on is like, we both enjoy teaching. We both, we discover we actually have a lot in common. We both, um, play and teach piano <laughs> and enjoy just teaching and learning as a part of our channels as well. We're both really, we have strong feelings about licensing, I'll say that, and doing right by artists and shops doing right by artists. Um, that's something we both feel pretty strongly about. I'm not, I'm sure you're not shocked if you've been around either of our channels for a bit. Uh, and we also, we just kind of discovered that there was this neglected genre of artwork. Now, admittedly, Jessica is much more knowledgeable about the genre and has been more passionate about it for much longer than I have and so I was leaning on her a bit in that sense but I was all about like oh my gosh there's this whole virtually untapped well of resources as far as diamond paintings go and the possibilities that it opens for uh, especially people that are on a budget and want to maybe look at getting a custom from a really budget-friendly place and now they can do it really guilt-free because we know that that is a barrier that a lot of people run into, the financial one, of making sure that they're buying kits responsibly and ethically. So we thought, let's let's really dive into this. There's possibilities here for our fellow crafters and even for fellow diamond painting shops because the there's a huge difference in the availability and the, and the restrictions that are involved with uh, working with public domain artwork like the old masters. It's, I think, a lot easier to work with for shops. And so I feel like it's just a win all around. And we were like, okay, let's do this. Really not knowing what to expect as far as is this going to be something that people are into or is it just going to be the two of us working on these kits just just ourselves and we thought either way we're good with it it's gonna it's gonna be fun and i thought i just am excited to learn again about this this genre of artwork that i'm not familiar with and some of it like i think most of us have seen starry night by van gogh like it's offered by a number of different diamond painting companies um it's almost like a rite of passage for diamond painters to work on starry night or some sort of variation so um i i knew of that but i thought there's there's got to be so much more and Ultimately, what I thought was like, I just I want to learn alongside of you all. And I also really liked the idea of making ordering a custom feel less intimidating and more accessible. That was something that, again, I kind of was a little overwhelmed by. I don't think I'd ever ordered a custom before the Summer with the Masters event last year. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to make this about learning alongside all of you. I'm going to just go ahead and go for it and do this thing that does feel intimidating to me right now. But I can approach it from hopefully the same perspective as you guys. Like, what are the things that... I do find intimidating about it and how can I make it feel more accessible to you guys and so that was a big part of what I had done last year and like I said my approach to this event was just I'm gonna learn alongside all of you <laughs> so it was so 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 much fun um, and now I do feel like it just in this instance, I do feel more confident ordering a custom. If you're curious to see the video that I put together on ordering a custom, I'll link to it below and I'll link to the whole Summer with the Masters 2021 playlist in the description box. There's really a wealth of information there. Jessica did some really incredible videos as well. I encourage you to go and take a look because most, if not all of that information is absolutely still relevant and useful. So uh, yeah, definitely go and take a look, especially if you are really loving this, 
this area of artwork and you're like, I just want to learn more. I just want to know more. <laughs> so I thought I am going to start out with just browsing, literally went to Google, typed in old masters artwork and browsed. I was like, let me get beyond Starry Night and Van Gogh. There's nothing wrong with Van Gogh. He's an incredible and classic artist and his work translates beautifully to diamond painting form. It really, really does. But I thought, I want to see what else is out there. I want to dig and I want to discover what is out there that really speaks to me. Um, Jessica put together a list of uh, places to find old masters artwork to just go and browse. I'll link to that below as well. It's a really, really helpful resource. Um, if you don't just want to start with Google, which is totally <laughs> fine as well, but I'll link to that below. <clears throat> Ultimately, one of the first things that caught my eye was artwork from John William Waterhouse. I think that he is probably one of the more popular artists. He's His artwork is just really... It, it evokes a lot of emotions. I feel like it's really powerful artwork, artwork and it's really beautiful. It's the kind of artwork that I can see displaying in your home, but it just, it felt like really accessible artwork to me and it just immediately, immediately spoke to me. And so I thought, okay, I've, I found an artist here that I am liking a lot of what I'm seeing. Let me browse just like specifically what he has and dig into it. And ultimately discovered the piece Miranda the Tempest, and that's what I decided to order as my first custom. Actually, I have a tray here that's also from Butterfly Resin Gems that uh, they created and sent over for me, but this is that piece, Miranda the Tempest, and is by John William Waterhouse. Just an absolutely beautiful piece. Um, and so that was kind of the first artist that I really connected with and was like, okay, yes, there is artwork in this genre that is calling to me and is my jam. Like, <laughs> I am so happy to discover this. And I know that there's even more out there as well. Um, I, I had talked a little bit with Jessica, who again, I feel like is just generally so much more knowledgeable about this subject in general. And early on, she had mentioned, she's like, I really want to try to um, dig into some to some video topics that go into uh, breaking outside of that really stereotypical like white male Eurocentric artists because she said that's where many of the old masters come from and that's what tends to get the most attention but there are female artists out there there on are non-european artists out there um, that deserve every bit as much love and attention as most of the artists whose names that we know very well and so um, I thought I kind of want to try to dig into that as well and so I was you know searching for female old masters artists um, and came across this piece, which is Our Lady of the Cow Parsley. I believe the original title is in French, but it's by the French female artist Elizabeth Sonrel. And I worked on that as a custom um, as well and thought I want to keep doing that, like branching out and trying to uh, see past just the surface of what's available in the genre and discover, continue to discover new artists and um, hopefully along with you guys learn more about these artists that we don't hear quite as much about. Last year seeing what everyone was working on and um, browsing even after the event happened really helped me fall more and more in love with this genre. I found my tastes changing quite a bit. Um, Alphonse Mucha became another love of mine. This piece here, like I said, is by Mucha. The piece in this resin tray is by Mucha. It's Zodiac. This is actually carried currently by Distracted by Diamonds. Um, but I just quickly discovered like all of this artwork that started appealing to me that even maybe when I first started exploring the old masters as a genre, I wasn't immediately drawn to, but I felt my tastes shifting over time, especially in the past year since we did Summer with the Masters 2021. And um, I remember at one point when I mentioned to a friend that I was so excited that Distract by Diamonds released the kit Zodiac. She was like, that just doesn't, I, I would never have expected that to be your taste. And I just was like, my taste has evolved so much. And when it comes to the old masters, I feel like anything is fair game. And I don't know what it is that even artwork that it's like, if it were done by a modern artist, or if it has um, the same vibe, like from a modern artist, I wouldn't necessarily reach for it. But there's something just about it being from this genre that 
my mind is so much more open to it. And I feel like it has just, the possibilities are virtually endless <laughs> and, um, it's, I'm just kind of embracing it. I'm just kind of like, it's okay if my taste is shifting. And like I said, I've heard really similar stories from some of you who have said like, this is not a genre that necessarily like appealed to me initially, but especially seeing, um, like through the hashtag on Instagram or through the pieces that you guys shared with us last year, like through email or the Google form and seeing truly how much variety there is out there because many of you did lots of digging and found these kind of lesser known artists or lesser known artwork. Um, it just made me go, I want to keep exploring and find out what else is out there and just made me fall more and more in love with the genre every single day. So um, that's one of the reasons that we decided to continue this event. And I mean, it's one of the reasons we started it to begin with, but um, the excitement and enthusiasm that you guys have had for the second annual Summer with the Masters has just been so exciting for Jessica and I, and we've just been uh, thrilled thrilled that we're not the only ones that have been looking forward to this event for quite some time. So what does Summer with the Masters, what does this genre bring to the community? I feel like it brings a whole set of artwork that shops can use. And we've seen tons of shops add this artwork uh, to their collections that we can shop from as prepackaged kits. Um, I think that this has really opened up lots of possibilities in that sense. But I think also for us, it it, it gives us so many options to shop completely guilt-free. Like, it's really difficult to find more modern artwork that's not in the public domain that we, feel, that we can actually freely use. But artwork from the old masters, we can actually just browse and go, hey, I like that piece. Okay, now I'm going to order a custom and I don't have to feel guilty about it. Like, I know that this is part of the public domain and I can enjoy this artwork and working on it as a diamond painting fully guilt free. So um, we just we love the options that this has made available. And we love so much that we've seen so many shops and companies and small businesses respond to the excitement um, and the and the demand really from us as a diamond painting community uh, for this artwork. So it's really, really neat to see that being matched. I feel like this makes um, more budget friendly options available because there are a lot of budget friendly websites that offer customs often in smaller sizes, but um, we've shared ways to do old masters in smaller sizes, whether it's cropping it in uh, or finding artwork that just is going to translate well at a much smaller size. And for those of us that are on budgets where we can't spend a lot on huge paintings or the additional costs that tends to come with legally licensed artwork of more modern artists. Um, now we can ethically <laughs> feel like we're ethically diamond painting, but still on a budget, you know? Um, I think that there's something fun about working on a kit that you've maybe never seen anyone else work on before. It may just be me, but I often enjoy when I am working on a kit that I I've never seen someone else work on before or even someone else own and finding like an obscure old master's kit or something like that or just something different that you know a shop hasn't necessarily stocked but I've ordered as a custom there's there can be something really fun and unique about like I have this kit that is brand new that I get to showcase to my fellow crafters as well and so that's something else that it brings to the community and finally I think that old master's artwork lends itself beautifully to displaying in your home, even in diamond painting form. I think that it just can look really, really beautiful uh, displayed in your home in a variety of different home decor as well, especially since the old masters as a genre has so many different kinds of artwork to uh, choose from. So anyway, that is mostly what I had to share as far as, um, why did we go with this theme and how I fell in love with the old masters and what, what I feel like it brings to the community. 
Now I want to take just a minute to share about this week's giveaways. You guys, we have some amazing prizes this week. And um, one really important thing I want to mention before I get into exactly what those are is that there is a Google form for the event down in the description box. In order to be selected for any of these prizes, you have to have filled out the Google form, including your address and your country. If you are international, it's also very important that you fill out the phone number portion because um, often customs or other clearance, you know, things will require that and we might have to include that. Please let Jessica or myself know if you have any questions, but you guys, if you haven't filled out that form, even if we pick your name, we're going to have to pick another one because we have to have all that information and verified your um, country and everything ahead of time. So uh, make sure you do that. You can fill out that form anytime during the event. Um, but if you want to enter for these prizes, you have to make sure that you've done that before before doing <laughs> before entering for any of these weekly prizes. So like I said, it'll be linked below. Um, and you can take a look, but the first prize I have to give away is a tray, a custom tray. Well, it's, it's been made already, but a tray like this one from Butterfly Resin Gems over on Etsy. So she's put together a beautifully curated set of old mast of um, an old masters themed tray, and I believe some minders. So um, I think that she is picking artwork just based on what she's seeing in the community so i don't know exactly what the artwork that you're going to receive will be but it will have an image of old masters artwork in the middle and it's going to be so beautiful so thank you so much to butterfly resin gems for donating that and just as a reminder their shop is currently on vacation mode just because uh, the owner is out for just a little bit for a medical procedure she'll be back soon so send lots of healing thoughts her way as well the second prize I have to give away is a kit that's been donated from Distracted by Diamonds and we'll be shipping directly from them. This is Half Sick of Shadows. Oh my gosh, you guys, I keep coming back to this piece and wanting to order it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. A huge thank you to Robin and Ben over at Distracted by Diamonds for donating this kit for Summer with the Masters. You guys be sure to hop on over to Distracted by Diamonds to see the various old masters kits that they've been stocking regularly. They also carry patty wax, which is one of my favorite waxes to use when I diamond paint, and they have a variety of other diamond painting accessories like special drills and minders. It's just a really amazing shop to follow, and they are, they're always releasing new new diamond painting kits that um, are from both old masters and more modern artists, and I love, love, love the quality on their kits. The third and final prize I have to give away is a goodie pack from an anonymous donor of old masters themed goodies that, while they're not directly diamond painting related, would be absolutely amazing and fun additions to anyone's home that enjoys the old masters we have some puzzles we have some journals we have some beautiful prints you're going to get a little combo pack of these goodies in the mail from me and a huge thank you to our anonymous donor for sending those over i love 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 the fun variety that we have in these so you can take a look i'll put a picture up on the screen of um what you'll be getting this week so Anyway, you guys, in order to enter for these prizes, like I mentioned, please be sure you filled out the Google form below so we have all your info. And then I would love for you to leave a comment on this video that does not include the word prize or giveaway, please, because it'll get filtered out. Uh, but leave a comment on this video about if you enjoyed the genre of the old masters before this event either this year or last year or if you discovered it alongside of us or just how you discovered the genre in general of um, old masters artwork so i would love to hear what you guys have to say and look forward to reading your comments and best of luck to all of you i will have all of the disclaimers and info about giveaways and entering for giveaways down in the description box as well all right, my friends, this was week two of Summer with the Masters. Just as a reminder, this event is running from June 1st to July 30th, and we 
hope that you will join us. You can join in anytime. Um, and we encourage you to, if you have a kit from last year that you want to carry over to this year, you're more than welcome to. We know a lot of these kits are very large and you might not necessarily have completed last year's or you may have gotten a head start. We really just want this to be a much more casual and community driven event where it's just all about celebrating the old masters together and enjoying seeing the different artwork that everyone is working on. As a reminder, if you have Instagram, you are welcome to share your progress pictures as you go, your finished pictures as you go, um, and use the hashtag Summer with the Masters 2022. That way we all can see what everyone is working on, though just, just a reminder that your profile actually has to be set to public in order for us actually to be able to see um, your post to the hashtag unless we follow you already. So I'm certainly not going to tell you you have to have, you have to like make your profile public just for Summer with the Masters, but you could always look into making a dedicated diamond painting account. Those are always fun to, to have as well, but um, we do not have a dedicated Facebook group for this, for this event, but um, I do co-host a Facebook group with my friend Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. The Facebook group is called Diamonds and Emeralds, and a lot of people have been sharing their pictures from the event as well with the hashtag, so you're also welcome to share there, but neither is a requirement. Facebook or Instagram, those are not requirements for the event. It's just a fun way to have even more community with everyone. So. You guys, we're going to have weekly videos through the rest of the event, alternating on Jessica's and my channels. We're going to cover a really wide variety of different topics as we go throughout the next few weeks together. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us for this event. We are having an absolute blast. And again, just so, so, so happy that so many of you have decided to join us. And I can't wait to keep seeing what you guys are working on over on Instagram or what you share just on social media. I'm loving it. So please, please, please keep it up. All right, my friends, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your week. Please let us know if you have any questions whatsoever. We'd be more than happy to help. And, um, also, please subscribe to Jessica's and my channels. Again, Jessica's Tiny Worlds of Wonder. I'll link it below. Make sure you're subscribed to both of our channels so you don't miss a second of Summer with the Masters. All right, friends. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.